we are about to see the biggest battery potentially on the one plus open two. Well, first off, it's gonna be the Oppo Fine and Fold 4, which will be rebranded to the One Plus Open 2. Nonetheless, though, right now, according to a long-term, a long-time tipster, they have claimed that Oppo and Vivo are working on foldable phones with 6,000 battery. 6,000 millihertz of battery which is absolutely insanity i mean 5000 is already crazy the z fold 6 just came out has 4400 right you have the pixel series that is in the 4800s you have the one plus open one that is in the 4800s this is 6000 even the Z, even the S24 Ultra is at 5,000. This would be, this would be insane. I mean, this would be the biggest battery in a foldable phone yet. And I, we're getting to a point where we're going to start talking about multiple days of battery life. And it's not, no longer going to be one day or it, just the mentality of like, all right, you know, it's a one day battery or a uh, all day battery. It's going to be an all-week battery. Like, we're going to get to that point. Now, again, none of this is actually 100% confirmed. This is all based on, you know, leaks. But at the same time, though, it would, you know, kind of push them over that edge when it comes to a very powerful device. Because we already know that the OnePlus Open 2 will most likely come out with a Snapdragon 8 Gen a uh, three processor. It's probably going to come out with 16 gigabytes of RAM like the predecessor did. It's going to be more powerful than the Z Fold 6. And with a bigger battery, way bigger battery now, that would be 1,600 more than what we see at the Z Fold 6. That would be a humongous upgrade. I will say, though, I would like to see the OnePlus Open 2 come out with a waterproof rating ipx8 i want to see it also come out with good wireless charging and good wired charging but hey listen this is the future of this you know affordable phone industry it's about now two things making the cover display as big as possible on an affordable flippable cell phone and also go ahead and make sure you add the biggest battery life possible or these foldable flippable cell phones and i'm all for it the only thing that scares me is when you start messing too much with batteries and too much with battery life and putting the biggest possible battery in a phone you start to go down the route that we saw with the galaxy note 7 and that's the only thing that scares me is going down that same route and potentially having the same problems I don't think we will personally. I think we'll, it will be fine. And again, we're going to see a great phone because again, keep in mind that was one time in history. We saw that where, you know, that obviously battery started exploding, but some older cell phones, Samsung cell phones, a couple years ago, the battery was expanding and starting to destroy the cell phone. So again, like I said, once you get too much into the battery stuff, that's when I kind of get a little bit like, oh, let's just be careful, you know, better safe than sorry here. Um, and I know they're trying with the wireless charging, the, oh, not wireless, wire charging. They're trying to charge phones as fast as humanly possible, you know, a whole 100% in 15 minutes. This has been the age old thing of the last couple of years. You know, they're really experimenting to see how perfect of a battery can you put in these phones. Not just foldable cell phones, but regular cell phones as well. And again, you know, I'm all for it. Just let's be careful because at the end of the day, these batteries, they are like a ticking time bomb when it comes to if you put too much pressure on them and too much, put them under too much pressure, next thing you know, you're causing a ticking time bomb. And you got to be very mindful and careful of that. So, well, yes, I do love the fact, you know, that this could happen. 
Let's just be careful and safe and not have a huge problem. Okay, the last thing the foldable phone industry needs right now, especially because now it's starting to become more mainstream, people are talking about it more, it's really awesome, you know, people are loving these cell phones. The last thing we need is something like a battery to blow up on somebody, right? We don't need that right now. We need as much good publicity as possible to push this industry forward, get more competition in here, get more companies involved. And again, the more competition, the more competitors, the better for the consumer. That's what we need right now. We need Samsung to stop being able to be complacent and just repeatedly put out the same product we need them to make upgrades and we need everyone else to also push this industry forward with technology innovation and overall better for the consumer right so one plus oppo vivo i'm sure you're gonna get it right just be careful shout out to android authority for posting this article shout out to uh handle simmons for going ahead and posting this article um, I'm going to go ahead and just say real fast, his Twitter page is going to be Handle Simmons at Handle Simmons right here. Also, he does have an email as well, but it looks like he doesn't have any other socials. Actually, does he? No, it's the Android Authority. So he doesn't have any other socials. I will leave the link down below the description to his Twitter if you'd like to check it out. Maybe hit that follow button and also read some other stuff he posted. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.